ensure that you don't get hit with an IP complaint. So Eric mentioned if there's a brand on a listing and the brand is the only seller, quickly go down to keep up and check the offers. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing if it's not the brand that's on a listing but there's only one specific seller because that specific seller can have exclusivity and then they might be sending out IP complaints. Make sure to check these listings and really the best place to look is at the bottom of the Keeper graph. If you see that there's one offer, sometimes it pops up to two, or if you see that there was 12 offers, 15 offers at one time, and then it quickly drops down to one or two, that means there was a blanket statement put across that ASIN against all sellers on that ASIN, maybe except for one who had exclusivity or was working directly with the brand. As long as you're looking at these charts, paying attention to the offers, you will be safe a majority of the time. I mean, there is always risk in running a business. There is a possibility that an ASIN that you pick up that has never had an IP complaint before, a week after you pick it up, the day after you pick it up, maybe a year after selling it without issues, the brand might file an IP complaint. But as long as you're playing your cards right and you're mitigating those losses and mitigating that risk, you will continue to grow and scale your business. Stay lit.